You are so smart. You are so smart, mommy. You are so smart. Yes, you are. Didn't take you long to figure that thing out, did it? It's the Catalula and her very smart. It's like a Kong Weeble Wobble, Weeble Wobble. It's got food in it. And if you toss it around and Move it around, get the food out. Didn't take her long to figure that out. Sorry we got cut off when we were trying to get out of the car. She hit my phone and that was it. That was the end of the video. <laughs> so here we are in Albert's room. We went outside in the yard. She walked around, she smelled everything. And then she walked back to the door and stood at the door. So we came in the room, get her used to it. <laughs> I think you got all the food out, mommy. That's it. I think you got it all out. Yeah, I think you got it all. So she is in Albert's room. This is Albert's room. That's his little doggy door to his little side yard out there and his lounge chair and his couch. So we set up a little bed area, bowls, food, water, little pee pad area. But again, this is Albert's room. So. Hi. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty mama. Hey, Sosa. You checking everything out? Oh, good girl. Go potty on a pee pad. Just like they said you would. Good girl. She didn't go to the bathroom outside, so, which is weird because she was an outside dog. Uh, the front area, which is where Precious and Peaches were, uh, currently that's where Mario and Cloud are. <laughs> Mario and Cloud were in here because it's Saturday and Albert's not here and it's a long day for me. I don't go home at all on Saturdays. So they were in here, but now they were moved to the front so that I could make room for her. Albert is with his foster Robin. But that's what I mean by juggling. And when Albert comes, obviously she can't be in here because Albert needs his room. Hey, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Do you like that? It's a nice big bed area for you to get comfy on. Are you going to poop on there? No. What are you doing? Don't poop on there. Mommy. Mommy, come over here. Mommy, over here. Over here, Sosa. Sosa, come. Come, come, come. No, don't. Okay. Mommy, over here on the pee pad. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're going to have to change that, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Going to have to change out the bedding. <laughs> She 
She'll get it. Oops. She'll get it. We'll get her used to it. She'll get used to going out. Hi. Hi, you proud of yourself? Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Uh-huh. I know. Whoa, we were just outside. She walked around, didn't do anything. Came back to the back door and was scratching at the back door. So we came in. I figured I'd show her her room. And then jump on live again. And then, of course, it's live, so you guys see it all. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's pick that up. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, pretty girl. Very proud of yourself, huh? Yes, you are. Yeah. Now we're gonna get new blankets. <laughs> now we gotta get to new blankets. So again, guys, this is Mommy Sosa, the mommy of the eight puppies, all eight, including her, were parvo positive and would have died if we did not take them in. Now all eight babies are thriving and doing well at Nana, Christine, and Bob's. And Mommy Sosa is now here. Well, yeah, I gotta go get you a new blanket now. <laughs> and we are desperately looking for a foster or a forever home for her. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> That's what happens. It's live. And this is new for her. New environment, new place. She lived outside, you know, and then she went from living outside to living in a hospital environment. But she's a smart girl, so she will pick it up quickly. I know she will. You know, living in a hospital is not the best environment for potty training. Oh, there was a couple more pieces in there, wasn't there? You're so smart. You're so smart. Oh, the window. You see the window? You see the window? That's Albie's yard out there. Hi. Hi, Mama. She's so beautiful. She can't have stuffies. She shreds stuffies. That's why she's got her little Kong Weeble Wobble. And we had, uh, I brought over a Benny Bone and an Antler to the hospital with the Kong so that she could use those. And then a couple extra bones that are in here that are Albert's. So she has plenty to chew on, but she shreds stuffies. So she cannot have stuffies. We don't want her to have an obstruction. Right, beautiful? Right, beautiful girl? Right, beautiful girl? Who's a beautiful girl? Who's a beautiful girl? You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's my sweet girl. So guys, please hit the share button. Let's get her out of Albert's room and into a home of her own. She is beautiful. She is medium sized. She is super sweet. She's very inquisitive, very smart, I believe. <laughs> Happy girl. This is Mommy Sosa. Email us at 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com if you are interested in meeting her and giving her a home 
or if you are interested in fostering her. Exactly, Jen. She was an outside dog. She lived outside. She showed up on somebody's farm. She had her puppies outside in the dirt. And then she went from living outside to living in a hospital, then to living in another hospital. Now she's here. Or Then she went to a house and was going back and forth from the house to a hospital, and now she's here. So she's had a lot of change in a very short period of time. But she is a smart girl, and she will pick it up quick. I know she will. She was smart enough to pick up that Kong thing immediately. She'll get the potty training thing down. It's just all about getting them on a schedule and showing her what to do. And she'll do it. Kind of hard to do that when they're in a hospital setting and when they're sick. but she'll get it. So again, the email address is 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Hit the share button. Let's get her into a home. She is beautiful. She is sweet. And she needs a home. So this is Tiffany rescue house one with Mommy Sosa. Ah, ah, ah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Please hit the share button, guys, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.